this is Terry from Fiberscope.net. So today we're looking at our new HD downhill camera unit. Um, as you can see, uh, this is going to be 200 meters, so 650 foot cable on a manual reel. Um, so you've got a locking nut here, so you can unspool it and reel it back up. Um, and then you've got the 8 inch monitor as well, um, LCD display, color display, um, and then also uh, camera head, you've got dual camera chips and they're both 720p HD um, and then just a small compact re reel that has wheels on the back so you can slide it around on site. Um, a couple things to note, so you've got an extended arm here as well as a manual reel so you can push the probe out if you need to uh, and there's a clip so you can move around the monitor if you need to as well. So just kind of move this around to uh, move it up and down depending on the sunlight. And then on the top you've got a couple connections so Blue counter reel for your on-screen footage counter, black video cable for your camera heads and your rotation. Um, black one just goes into the back of the reel and the blue one goes into the counter on the side of the arm. Um, and then <clears throat> on the top of the monitor, there's also your power button. There's a little plug-in for a Bluetooth keyboard and there's a little plug-in for your USB. So when you're doing images and video, um, you'll want to use the USB port and just save your uh, video inspections and your images onto a thumbstick. And then you can take the thumbstick out, put it into a laptop and just email files or, or So we've already connected the camera. Um, there's basically just a screwing connection. Um, you'll line up the pins, plug it in, and then you screw it down to tighten it and to seal the waterproof. There's a power button on the top of the monitor, so we'll just turn that on. So this is going to boot up and then uh, I'll just come over on this side. So as you can see the camera head is a dual camera. So you've got one straight view camera with LED lights around it, one permanent side view camera with LED lights around it. And then on the monitor right now you'll see the image. You can turn on the LEDs just using the buttons on the screen. So you see the LEDs on there. Um, you can also switch the camera image. So you use the switch button, it'll switch over to the side view camera. That'll load up, same thing. You can control the LEDs on that. And then with this camera, you also have rotate. So if you hold the side button, you can rotate it around one way and then you can rotate it back the other way as well. So that lets the side view camera do a 360 degree circle so you can see the side walls. That also means your downhole camera though, technically you can rotate it to level it as well. So if you need to level what you're looking at straight down, you can do that too so you're always kind of in the same frame of reference if the camera's spinning a little bit too. Um, on the monitor, super easy to use. So I'll leave that on the side view. You basically have image capture, so press that to save an image, it would save onto the USB stick. Um, video, same thing, push video, you'll get a counter with a red circle saying that it's recording, and then you would just press stop to stop it and it would save it into the system. And then you can do your menu settings, it'll switch over to your DVR, and you can play back your video, play back your images, and then you can also adjust your system settings if you want to. And you can see your display is at 720, and then also your captured files will be at 720 as well. And you just exit back out of that into your frame. Uh, you can switch to your down view. Which right now it's just a little cool. um, And then you can also uh, use that rotate function as well. So you can rotate between, just rotate around.